Scoop. Hi, this is Isaac for Pop Scoop, and we are here at Sundown Festival 2015, and I'm uh, very honored to be here with uh, the great singer-songwriter Zach Abel. Hey man, how, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. We saw your set and killed it out there. Oh, thank you very much, appreciate it. How was it for you? It was awesome, yeah. Got to try out some uh, new material from the new like EP, mini That's album. new EP? Whatever See, you want to call it, One Hand on the Future. Just and, brand uh, new out, right? Was yeah. It last yeah, week? Last or? week, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, it was really, really cool. Really cool. Say Something went down well. People, people seem to react well to that, so that was cool. Yeah, and how is that to kind of bring out you know a song that you've done in the studio that you've written quite intimately and then just bring that to an audience and see, bit, see how it goes it's a bit mad because when when you when you see people in the audience like singing songs back to you like hang on a minute i made that up in my head recorded it <laughs> and now something i made up in my head someone else is singing and they're responding and to they're responding they yeah it's incredible man really incredible yeah and how did you start out in in, in music what, what was the bu- you know the first sort of buzz moment that got you um, thinking this is it well um i've been, every singer will say this they've been singing for since they can remember they do it's yeah worth it's so cliche though, though. Cause it's it might like, be it might be that you nice go actually one. last week <laughs> yeah uh, I thought, last 2014 week. <laughs> when i started <laughs> i started last week <laughs> Did it all in a day. Not bad, right? All the artwork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The videos. See, that would be a great answer. Done it all. But anyways, when, <laughs> no. you were, when you were small. Yeah, when I was small. I'm still quite small. I'm growing though. Slowly but surely. I promise you. I, promise I think you're taller than me. <laughs> no. Um, I just did some co-writing sessions, which is when you, you write with other people. And some of that got noticed by um, Atlantic Records. Some you songs were signed I'd by done. them. I was right? signed by yeah. them. And then, it's a, it's a luxury, but I was allowed to develop as an as an artist and try out new stuff and figure out they didn't lean the on you of, too much and no yeah. i mean it's quite rare nowadays to have a label that will do that for you so i'm very thankful um and your voice i mean is that is that something that you've uh, you know, obviously it's you know soulful and and but it's but it's it's something where you sort of think how, how does he have that voice he's so <laughs> young i'm sure you hear this a lot but yeah do you what do you do every day to kind of train it or do you have anything that you have to do to um, keep care of it well i guess i just sing all the time and i think the voice is like a muscle i don't really like thinking about my voice as like an instrument yeah. Yeah. no i just think about <laughs> the, the song and the meaning of the song and whatever comes out comes, comes out naturally but um yeah i think it, it's, it's like that if there's something i feel very strongly about then i'll sing it in a different way to something i don't really care about and so i guess that's what you're hearing yeah. And uh, you know you had your big, um, big hit with Gorgon City, um, and did they teach you anything that you could? Of course, man. Like going on tour with with Gorgon City, like we went all around the UK and Europe and stuff, and Great that was an invaluable experience. Like my fourth ever gig was uh, Radio One's Big Weekend, which was to twelve thousand people. It's crazy. So that was just invaluable. Like I learned so much. Yeah. In at the deep end, kind of thing. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, obviously, I, I don't know if I'll be playing to twelve thousand people just yet um, with my solo stuff, but, but you've I got feel the like training down. So I've, you, yeah, you know I've, how to deal with it. I've done it, so I won't freak out too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you've done um, two EPs now, yeah. right? You um, you did one together with Joker. And we've got a B on the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and has he worked on your newest EP he has, as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, he's he's been quite involved. In, in this one as well um, he produced Don't Belong um, he also produced a song called Soul Child yeah. a song called Flow and also he, he had a part to play in, in Bring It Home as well okay so you collaborate very yeah. well together. yeah 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 he's my guy and how do you start out with the song do you do you think of lyrics first does does a beat come first I'm either uh, a chords guy, like I, I, I'll write the chords and then the melody and then the lyrics in that okay. order, or if I get sent a beat, then um, the chords are normally already there and, and I just write the, you know, the, the melody and lyrics over it. But then sometimes, actually, with, with a song called Soul Child, that's on one hand on the future, like there was a song called, uh, sorry, did I just say there's a song called Soul Child? On one yes. hand, on the, yeah. There's <laughs> yes. a song called Soul Child on one hand on the future, and uh, we got sent the drums for that by Joker. Okay. And then um, I, me, me and a guy called Ed Thomas wrote that together and we wrote the chords. And that was more of a, 
you know, chords. What do you think about these chords? Yeah, we could change that one and that one. It was it was more collaborative okay. than, than we've done in the, in the past, which is really cool. And you're self-taught on piano and yeah. guitar, right? I'm actually, I can play guitar. I wouldn't say I'm anywhere near as good as I am on, on piano. I wouldn't say I'm very good on piano either. But, <laughs> but you yeah. bring it out on stage with you. Yeah. And yeah. You know, live lounges and things like that. Yeah. You've got the... Yeah. And it, I'm sure it was an honor to be um, named as uh, Hot for 2015. Yeah, yeah one extra. Pretty one yeah. extra, that yeah. Was, that was insane. Like, I didn't expect that at all. Like, I didn't even think I was going to get it played on radio or anything like I never really released any of my own material and uh, yeah like I, I remember just being in this in the writing session and getting told that it oh, was, that how you got it told? was yeah and, and like someone told me that it, it was on you know the hot for 2015 no. this I'm just like <laughs> no but it was and yeah huge honor so what's up next I mean obviously your EP is coming out um, yeah. has come out has last come, week. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you touring later this yeah, year yeah yeah um, I've got I've got quite a few uh, quite a few live things coming up. I'm doing um, Oslo in Hackney tomorrow. Oh, it's a bit late notice. <laughs> if anyone wants to come, was that, was that not planned? <laughs> it kind of happened. Um, no, it's it's uh, it's been planned for. It's been in the diary for a while. Um, <laughs> but the, the main thing that I'm going to be working on over the next couple of months is getting my album together. Um, do you have a lot of songs already, or are they in process? I do, but I, I I'm, I'm still very very curious to see where I can take it like I, I want to keep you know pushing what what I can do and so I'm, I'm really excited to get into that that's great well we're looking forward to hearing more from you and seeing more from you me. thank you so much for chatting to us thanks for having me and having me. um speak soon yes okay thank thanks, you Isaac. Cheers, man. pop scoop